Hi, this is just going to be a quick video just showing you how you can format your external hard drive in Windows. Okay, so the first thing is you have your external hard drive out of the box and um, you just plug it into an available USB port on your PC or laptop and just wait a few seconds then. And the drive should get picked up and that'll be fine. So sometimes, depending on the drive, it'll pop up with a window and give you options um, you know whether to open pictures folders things like this but for this particular procedure you don't you can just kill that if it does come up and what you need to do is you need to go to my computer now I'm doing this on Windows XP um, it's slightly different on um, Windows 7 you know Windows Vista Windows 8 but it's still very similar and in fact it's not called my computer it's just called computer okay so when you go there then you'll see a list of storage devices on your um, on your actual machine okay so this particular brand here I have is called Intenso so you can see it there it's just been added on as the F drive so all I have to do is simply right click and go format okay so in Windows you can't um, in its native formatting program you can't um, convert to FAT32 so we'll just leave it as NTFS by default and just simply tick the quick format button and go start and then OK to confirm so it's a very quick process you'll see and once it's done then it'll come up and give you a message to say that the formatting is complete and there you go and you can just ki you can just kill that then what you need to do then is um, shut the my computer window and go down to the bottom right and this symbol should be very similar on Windows XP Windows Vista Windows 7 Windows 8 things like this okay so just click on this I've only one USB mass storage device inserted so just go stop and press OK Okay, so this might happen where it says that the generic volume can't be stopped because there's programs accessing it. This is a thing that occurs in Windows from time to time, you know, and they've never really done anything about it. So if you just try and do it again, you'll see that it was successful this time. So you just give it a little bit of time. Uh, alternatively, if it kept telling you that, that, you know, it couldn't remove it safely, what you'd have to do is actually just, you know, shut down your computer, you know, correctly, like turn off computer okay so it's very important that you just don't plug out the hard drive when you're finished until you have it safely removed or the actual PC or laptop is you know turned off now the reason we're making this video is from time to time on certain PVR receivers um, it can happen that when you buy a new drive uh, when you plug it in the actual receiver um, won't recognize it and you'll think that the drive is broken or something like this now it's very easy fix as you can see there but the reason behind it is that when the drive comes from the factory the formatting isn't quite exactly what the actual receiver wants okay so you'll need to use a pc or laptop first just to force it into a format that the actual receiver wants once you have that done and you plug it into the receiver you can just use it away as normal and you know everything will be grand then so that's basically it how you can just quickly format your um, external hard drive using windows